Welcome to the introductory tutorial for Photomodeler Scanners, Smart Match, and Manual Reference Modeling. This tutorial shows how to create a manually marked and reference model by first starting with a Smart Match based camera orientation. Here is the finished project, a CAD like model of a building facade. We now show the steps to create this project from the start. Open the Getting Started dialog. Select a new automated project. There are two types of automated projects, coded targets and smart match. This tutorial covers the smart match technique. Select the 12 images used in the project. Hit Next and a camera calibration prompt appears. If the calibration was already in the library, it would be matched automatically and this pane of the wizard would not appear. Or if a camera calibration from another project existed, it could be loaded. In this case, we use an approximate EXIF camera that will be fine-tuned by the Smart Match auto calibration process. Hit Run and the Smart Match process starts. Features are detected on each image and then matched across images. Once the matching is complete, the project is processed. While that runs, we'll review some basic requirements of Smart Match projects. Aim for at least 60% overlap. For example, Photo 1 should overlap Photo 2 and some of Photo 3. The subject matter and or background should contain random features. For example, a featureless plain white wall will not work. As well, the majority of the scene should not move between photos. Avoid using blurry or out of focus photos. The smart match process has finished. The result is a set of 3D points and solved camera positions. The first goal of quickly orienting all the photographs is now complete. Additionally, the parameters of the camera have been improved during the auto calibration stage of Smart Match. By orienting the photos automatically, a significant aspect of manual projects has been completed for you. The automation reduces errors and orientation problems as well. Having the photos all oriented before manual referencing makes that process much faster and with reduced error as well. This 3D view shows the resulting 3D smart points. Set points to be colored from photos to aid visualization. You can see a rough representation of the building. Notice how the smooth, solid color areas were not used for matching. Turn on camera stations to show the salt camera positions. Now the second stage of the project is carried out. That is, using manual marking and referencing to outline a CAD-like model of the facade. The first stage, which was the automated photo orientation and camera calibration, makes manual referencing easier. First, we'll review a requirement of photo angles. When you take photos for a smart match project, you want them to have low angles. On the other hand, for manually referenced points, it is best to have high angles between photos for higher accuracy. A good approach is to take low angle photos for smart match and then choose photos from those that have a high angle when manually marking and referencing. Turn off 2D smart point visibility to make viewing easier. The two photos on the right, number 1 and 2, are taken from similar positions, hence have a low camera angle. The photo on the left, number 12, has a higher camera angle with photo 1. To see the difference in angle, reference this point between the low angle pair, that is photos 1 and 2. Since they are easy to match up on photos 1 and 2, it is tempting to reference them there. However, it is best to reference to photos with a higher angle. Hold down the Alt key to bring up the zoom window to make it easier to see the location of interest. Reference a point on the other side of the window frame between the higher angle pair, that is photos 1 and 12. The mouse scroll wheel can be used to zoom. In addition, if you click and hold the scroll wheel, it can be used to pan. Open a 3D view to see the result of these point references. Turn on light rays in the 3D view. Select a point in 3D or select the photo mark and use the expand selection to all windows command. You can see the shallow angle of the rays used to calculate this point. Low angle light rays usually generate low precision results. Select the high angle point now and use the expand selection to all windows command again, but this time using the W shortcut key. 
The higher angle rays give better precision. The closer the angle is to 90 degrees, the better. To add redundancy, which also improves precision, the point should be referenced on at least three photos. Select three camera stations with reasonable angles between them and use the Open Photo Showing Selected command. Mark and reference the four corners of the window on these three photos. Since the photos have already been oriented during the Smart Match stage, the images show the reference helper lines, which help locate the matching location on other images. Once a point is referenced on two photos, when the cursor is moved over a third photo, the cursor and image will jump to the approximate location of this point. This speeds up the manual process greatly. This is another result of having the orientation stage already complete. Now that all four window corners have been marked and referenced, lines can be added to help with the visualization. First, turn off camera station visibility in the 3D view. The new window outline is visible among the smart points. Selecting the lines makes them easier to see. Here is the project with key points marked, referenced and connected with lines. Surfaces can now be added. Add one surface using the Path tool by selecting the bounding lines. Here is the project with additional surfaces added. Turn on quality textures to see the resulting textured model. Add a scale and rotate so that the model matches real-world measurements. There are several ways to define the coordinate system. Here the Scale Rotate wizard is used. Select the project units as feet. Enter the known dimension of 4 feet and select the objects used to define the scale. The project is now scaled. Next, add a rotation. Two axes must be defined. Add the horizontal axis first. Select a point on the left. Hold Shift and select a point on the right. Order is important. Now define the vertical axis. Select a point on the bottom. Hold Shift and select a point on the top. Reset the 3D view to the front view so the defined rotation is clear. Turn on the axis display to also see the effect of the rotation. Open the measure pane and select objects to show measurements based on the coordinate system that was just defined. Save this project as done PMR. Lastly, export the model for use in third-party 3D software. Choose the popular 3D DXF file format. Since only the lines, surfaces and points are of interest, exclude the smart points. In summary, the tutorial showed how to run the automatic project Smart Match Wizard, how an approximate EXIF camera can be used and refined during a Smart Match project. How to use a smart match solution for manual marking and referencing and picking high angle photos. How to add lines and surfaces to referenced points. How to export a project while excluding smart points.